Hello everyone, welcome back to Hexen, wherein we are doing our level best to probably not waste mana on enemies that we can reasonably easily defeat with <laughs> this particularly terrible weapon. So I'm hoping that we've only had Etin's spawn since. Uh, how far have we got? Obviously we want to go down here. That's right, I, I got squished fighting these Wendigos, Wendigos, however you wish to pronounce it. So it shall be. Uh, Oh yeah, fight each other. Perfect. I was going to say, my mouse seems fast. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say, oh god, we have to use mana against these motherfuckers, but I think we should be okay. Yeah, my, my mouse seems a little bit... Let's see if I can, um... Mouse options. Let's go down a little bit, because I'm, I'm turning a lot faster than I anticipate. And then you're facing completely the wrong direction. Here we go. So I don't mind using mana against these bastards, but, um... No? Oh, you're fighting you, right? You keep fighting. Oh. I... Okay, good. I keep hearing these other Etins. I presume they're in there, which is why we can hear them, but... I'd rather not be able to hear them if it's all the same to you. These things have a lot of HP. I'm glad we've got our... first ranged weapon, at least gives us a small chance of dealing with these Wendigos. Which is not something I'm looking forward to, because uh, I've already done it once before. We killed it. Excuse me. Three, four, five, six, and another one. one two, three, four, five. So they will randomly teleport in during the game. That's a pretty cool mechanic, considering the age of the game at the time. Oh, fudge. <laughs> this is where we run away. Right, now we just need to get the crap out of them. Hope that these don't hurt too much. Oh, God. They got me. Did we get it? Did we get it? I don't know. Our main option here is... I mean, last time I tried to avoid taking any damage at all. That didn't really work out. Uh, I'm using a quartz flask. Did I not press E to use? Wait. Two, three, four, five... Six. Seven. Grief. Have you forgotten my controls? Where is use? Is it not E? Inventory. Activate. It's Q. I remember because obviously I was pressing uh, Q to switch weapon before. Well, before I died. Which was not far from here. Indeed. Well remembered. Uh, I died down here. Oh shit! Q obviously switched weapon in Left 4 Dead 2. Possibly Left 4 Dead 1, I didn't play that. Uh, fuck off. Oh god. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm scared. So I, I keep trying to switch between my primary weapon and secondary weapon, but in fact it's actually my one weapon and two weapon. Now these things go up if you step on the light patch. They go up so fast that you end up getting squished. That son of a bitch shot me into... You saw that. You all saw it. He shot me so that I slid backwards. Now, they don't go up so fast that you can uh, not run away. I mean, I was actually under the impression if you stood on them at all, you were f fudged. But... Right, so we reactivate them. I'm just looking around because I'm expecting Etins to creep up behind me and get the crap out of me. But I think we're okay for now. The fact that these things explode so majestically, not these specific things, the things that the... Oh god, I'm stuck on a tree. The Wendigos create those ice things that explode with great a plum. Or a plume? Is it a plume? I don't know. Uh, that... You really can't dodge them. <laughs> they fire two at you. These snakes, by contrast, are a piece of piss. Even though I did get hit. I should probably make liberal use of my quartz flasks. I cannot imagine how you would ever beat this game on this difficulty in the old days. Like, with the mouse and keyboard. I've been reading about Quake. Uh, apparently when they first made Quake, they put a lot of things in it to offset the fact that there was mouse work. The free look with mouse. It was a brand new thing for Quake. 
So what they had is a lot of uh, look spring, where your look returns to the horizontal. Ay! Motherfucker. Can we not have this happening to me? What are these K and S numbers then, do you reckon? K is currently 44 of 101. What do you think that is? Kills? Ah. Yeah, maybe. Because it... I think it went up when I did that, but I, I couldn't swear to it. Right, how did we get this to activate? Honestly, I'd like this thing to go away before I do anything else. Could we kill it at all? Modern day, you'd sort of crouch, wouldn't you? You'd press control or something. Oh, hello. I literally jumped in my seat just now. I heard this noise thinking, that sounds like an Etin, but it must be miles away. No, no. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up. Pick this up. Pick this up. And then activate it and run. It's not there. Where are you? Come along. I wish our flechettes were better, but they're really not very good at all. Just leave them poison gas around? I can't... That only helps if the things are chasing you, and these things are not chasing me at all. Seems to be doing a little bit better right now, simply by virtue of the fact that I am not taking stupid damage against these... ice balls. I'm taking a small amount of damage, but not a huge amount of damage like I was in the past. I don't think those are actually going to reach that Wendigo. Those in that f configuration don't hurt nearly as much as they do in the uh, full-on ice ball in your face configuration. We did smash that at, uh, Wendigo, something, something rotten, so I guess we taught it some sort of a lesson. Did we get, I don't think we got this one. Here, I mean, enemies can hurt each other. Whew, nearly died there. We had 7 health before I used that. Somehow I got it to 57 health from now, though, so that seems very generous. Must have used 2. Or avoided a, a lot of the impact. That would make more sense. This is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I would ever have given this game credit for. Where did you go? You done? Because they keep spawning behind me as well, which is kind of a dick move, but I mean, it works. It's making it very difficult compared to what it could be. I definitely need to kill that before I go down there, or I'll end up being pushed onto the crushes again. It's not somewhere I want to be. If it could just die, that would be absolutely, absolutely quite splendid indeed. There we go. Right, so now I don't need to worry about these. You notice these have actually gone out these torches here. That's really cool. I keep talking about the things that they did in this game that were so much different from the predecessors to this game. And that's one of them. Ah! Holy shitballs. <laughs> right, we're not dead yet. <laughs> so, that was bad times. We are running very low on quartz flasks though. So the Quartz Flask is one of the reasons that I also would consider this to be a successor to Heretic. Uh, it was Heretic that first had an inventory. And it was Heretic that had these crystal files and Quartz Flasks as health. Are you, are you both dead? Or are you just trolling me? I keep expecting to turn around and find... I don't really want to use this. Uh, find an Etin has spawned behind me or some bullshit like that. So I didn't really do too well here, but we made it. There's another Etin spawning, so I think we're okay for now. Come on. There we go. We get some HP from this, which is at least very nice indeed. So this torch is going out. It's a scripted event that never used to happen in the future. Just like this appearing when we go in here is going to be a scripted event. See that fucking thing there? Not only does it take us to... Oh, shit. Uh, a completely different level, which will be linked to this level, which is brand new for its time. How much health have you got? Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, yeah, not only is it linked to a different level that is linked to this level, which is outrageous, but... Oh, <laughs> I don't like it. Um, it appeared the, the line would not have teleported us until 
after the um, event had happened. This is a great time to be using flush X, but I don't really want to be scrolling between my items. Yeah, this is not scrolling between my items. Let's change that, because there's no point in having a scroll to change. That's real right, sure. Uh, there's no point in having the scroll, scroll wheel change between two weapons right now, but if we can do something like this... Did I get a... Here you go. Don't like this at all. <laughs> Leave me alone. Wow, that thing makes a bit of a whiny noise when it gets caught in that poison cloud, if I'm being honest. Like a kicked puppy. I'm not pulling that. You can't make me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Nothing in there. Right, right, right. So we can sort of hang out here for a while. Potentially make use of this HP. I think being hit by the small parts of these is very okay compared to being hit by the large parts. It's 2 HP to get hit by one of them. Uh, it's more than 2 HP. Uh, ouch. There's also a trap here. Did you notice? Did you see the trap? Something else that never happened in the old days. I mean, we got traps, sure, but they were very primitive, like you get squished. I do not like the noises this place makes. This is actually quite terrifying. It's turning out to be extremely difficult. So this is probably the Guardian of... We are in the Guardian of Ice, but you see how it joins to the Steel Guardian there? So this activates when you come into the room, but stops. So it looks like you can get away with waiting. For a girl like you. There's an Etting down there. Now here's an interesting thing about um, the engine, which you may or may not find actually interesting. Because of the way enemies work, because it's a 2.5D engine, the creatures down there take up space even though we're above them. So I'm going to save here. And the reason is, if I jump across here and don't make it, it's because of the way the engine, the game engine works. Okay, we did make it, so that's okay. Because those enemies, in Doom for example, you wouldn't have been able to do that, apart from that you can't jump. Um, that enemy takes up all the 2D space in, in the area it is. Irrespective of the height of you. Like how high up you are off the ground. Oh, that's nice. I remember these as well. These magic bridges that just show up to help out. So we wouldn't be able to run across that gap in Doom because the enemy that is below us would be considered to be in that zone, that area. It would be just to be a circle that would include that space. Okay, that did move. I tried to open it, you know. But also, these lines here would possibly be usable. But you see, I can step on top of this. This has height. In Doom beforehand, that would not have had height. It would have just taken up the whole vertical that it was in, and you would have been able to go past it, even if you were above it. So that's a, a change for Hexen, which is for the better, because it would have meant... Oh, Jesus! Why am I here? I fell in by accident. This is a mistake. <laughs> well, I have saved it recently. Not for any sensible reason, but it's done. Uh... I feel a little bit like I saved scum this, but it's not like I had a, a great amount of trouble, and I did save after. <laughs> save after the, um, the point at which I took damage from the trap, so I didn't really lose armor too much. However, we did survive the fall down here, which is strange. And I don't know why this thing isn't damaging me, but I guess it's because I'm hitting it. I don't know if that's a thing. It is damaging me. So I will use a quartz flask, even though there is HP down here, because it's not enough HP. Did I just go fast enough to hit that? Yeah, I did. I went fast enough to bounce off that wall. That is wonderful. Uh, wunderbar. You can jump on that, but it doesn't help. Can we open this? Yeah. 
Comes free with the quartz flask. Comes with the free quartz flask. That wasn't there before. Interesting. Can we open this? Yes. Do I want to go up there? There comes a point where it's not save going, but just common sense. Well, now we're in the Guardian of Ice. But oh, we're still in the Guardian. This is where we were before when I was talking about the random. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, it drains health. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's so much better suddenly. See that shit? When you're in close range with this thing, it drains health. It still uses mana. Oh, I've remembered something amazing to us. This is going to be super useful in the future. Yes. So we must get in close with this thing. As well as with this thing. Oh, that's so much better all of a sudden. Just remembering that one fact. Can we get back down here? We can. So we should. So let's save it because we've done the thing. Uh, mostly I just don't want to have to keep repeating myself. This is the sort of trap that I created when I first wrote things for this game. It's so much fun to write. So we've got... Right, this is a place where we don't jump off. So we can pull this. All the shit goes down. Look at that weird ass crap. One other thing that you did in these games when you created, because the, all these textures are only because there's a gap between the ceiling and the floor. So anytime there's a gap between the ceiling and the floor, you fill in, you tell the, the engine what texture to put in between. But there's one thing you could do which is called um, unpinning the texture. Now, when, when the floor or ceiling moves, the texture tends to move with it. But if you unpin one side or the other of that, you can um, cause this effect where the well the wall moves independently of the floor. It's pretty obvious I guess. These things don't pause when they reach the uh, poison cloud, which is quite annoying. It's like a little alarm system as well. So if you notice when we stepped in here all those things were actually um, moving with the ground. Come on then. Fucking have you. When the stairs were being created, those walls would be moving with, along with it. If you unpinned the texture at the bottom, then when the bottom of the texture, uh, when the ground at the bottom of the texture moved, the texture would not move with it. I heard a noise that sounded like me being hit, and then I turned around, and it was because I hit something else. And then I got a little bit scared. Yeah, these things, though. Diamond doesn't. We should probably make a little bit more liberal use of them. Why would I go to that? How how obvious a trap? you want. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Hexen. A really, really obvious trap. Not a trap. A non-obvious trap. It's a trap. There's a delay. That's nice. So, I guess we go back up here. I don't know if we achieved anything by pulling all those other switches. In fact, I don't know if we've achieved anything at all. If I, uh chew this up, at least I get some HP back for it. This path is barred. That's another cool thing. You could make it so that when you use a, a wall, it just displays a message. Also something we never did in Doom. So there's so many things that are new in this game. And I mean brand new. I was talking about Quake before and the free look thing. It was super interesting to learn that before like, before gaming really took off, all this, like, all this was mouse and keyboard. We played this whole game with the mouse and the keyboard. Even at this difficulty level, which is just impossible. How? Right? I have no concept of how you would do that. Oh, that's interesting. I've forgotten about this as well. See this? Flame mask. Missing texture. So many cool things. In the game, in Doom, it was just, you know, you need the red key. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save it up here just in case something stupid happens. I feel like I'm save scumming, but mostly I just don't want to have to keep redoing things. Ah shit! Let me out! 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 Let me out. I froze, and that's why. I don't know if there's a way of bringing this back down again. 
cannot use this here. Hmm, my character says. The Spake Bar Zarathustra. Um, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you can't make me. Let's use the flame mask here. Because that's what we're That was a pretty cool noise. Like, it was all red key, blue key in Doom, right? Here's an example. This texture isn't pinned at the bottom, but not at the top, so it looks like it's melting. Pretty sweet. Take. Shit. <laughs> I'm scared. Now, we have the flame key now, which, if you recall, was necessary for... A door somewhere. I don't like the fact I'm back here and have to do all this shit. Okay, die. Oh my god, what was that noise? It was the stairs. Yeah, the stairs are here. This is sweet as all fuck. Also, why is there suddenly Afrits in my game? We should be using uh, this to get some HP back. And of course, because there's actually a reasonable amount of mana around the place, so I don't feel like I'm going to run out of ammo anytime soon. Alright, you're down there. You are at full HP. I uh, probably don't want to use the mace to try and kill loose Afrits, but let's go up here. There's now braces, yeah. And we can pull this, which I believe opens another one of these doors. Ow! We're okay. Did not open another one of these doors. That Afro is still alive. Uh, but there is another door open, so I guess we explore it. Uh, and we'll probably pull this switch in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I will continue playing. And I hope to see you in the next episode.